Um, okay, guys, so I want to come up on here right quick. I know people are calling me a little crazy and insulting me. And even my sisters came out against me talking bad about me. So I just want to uh, ask if you guys have any questions about my family and how valid. Uh, hey, I'm, I'm okay. Um, if, but if you guys have any questions to help further prove uh, anything. Okay, I know Treasure's address. I know where she lives. If she was, if she really wants to mess with me, I'll put her public business out there. But I don't want nothing to happen to my sister. I want to come out here a little bit more serious because this is a very serious topic and serious situation. And I don't want to, you know, people call me crazy for like telling the truth. I have a very wild personality, and you know, this is all still. I'm the second oldest girl out of seven kids. My mom had six, but didn't have seven. Like, my baby brother was born in 2012, so he really didn't know my dad. But if anybody has, like, any more questions, are you close to your mom? On and off, my mom is a very negative person and has done a lot of damage in our lives that still negatively affect us today, obviously. Uh, but her phone has been off for quite some time. But I wanted to fully come out and expose her for the kind of person she is because she's done a lot of evil shit um, to our whole family. And I feel like she needs to just be called out for it. She'll hurt me and not give a fuck, so I'm, I kind of feel the same way at this point, you know. And it's really sad that, you know, people are questioning my validity when I don't check this full name. What's your sister's fascination with white people? Uh, she's looking for attention. She knows the race topic is a sensitive one that will get a rise out of people. Did you watch Treasure's Insta post saying she only had one sibling? Of course. I mean, I've watched it before she blocked me, but Treasure uh, has... Six other brothers and sisters on my mom's side. And she has, her, her biological father has some kids of his own. Were you able to sleep last night after the live? Um, <laughs> I slept pretty decent. Has your sister come at you? Not in person. Uh, she tried to call me last night. But regarding Treasure, I do not want to speak to her on the phone. If anything, I'd see her in person and probably whip her ass. I gave her whoopings all the time coming up. So, I mean, I'm her big sister. So it's like, it is what it is. Okay. Did Dr. Phil have a... I think Dr. Phil is to blame because um, he gives these kids a platform. Does your sister know she can get hurt? I know she can get killed. I know she can get killed. Is the brother... Everyone's lying. Everyone in the, involved in that special, my mom, my brother, and my sister, are liars, and they all need to be called out. And if you guys like really want to know some, like, the real... Is my sister slow? I think she is... There's something not all there. She just doesn't comprehend. Like, she's 16 years old. She doesn't comprehend. She is not a natural racist. Um, she never was. And you know, wasn't even raised like that. Was raised around black people all her life. But uh, I think there is some self-hate there. What did your brother lie about on the show? About pretending that Treasure was a racist. Does she know that it's on site if... Well, it's not just a Beehive member. If... If, if any, everyone who wants to see her, does your brother speak bad about it on Insta too? My brother doesn't really have an Instagram. Not that I know of. Well, he does. He does, actually. But he don't really post her. I don't really follow him. She's looking for a comment. Yep. Yeah, but she's not going to do it off disgracing my father's name, who I was more... No, it was not real. So your mother... They're all doing it because they wanted an all-expense trip, paid trip to California. <sighs> Tomorrow, right now CPS is closed, but tomorrow I'll be calling them, giving them all of her information. Honestly, I could put Treasure's all of her information out there, but that's a scary thing to do because they're now people who want to kill my sister. And she just does not come. Where y'all mom? My mom's, uh, where y'all from? Oh, I'm from Detroit. Thank you for exposing her. You're welcome. I am full fully for black beauty and showcasing and I feel like what she's doing is just it needs to be stopped immediately so it's like she's doing it on like something that I'm very active on nobody wants to kill your sister they're all talk you can't trust today's day and age you cannot trust it why would you call CPS because she's on the run from CPS she is uh, basically a criminal um, she has been to school in years and her school would call and leave phone calls looking for her saying where she's at my mom lost custody because she was going to go to jail because Treasure stopped going to school for a while. She's like, um, she stopped going to school. 
DPS started looking, 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 looking. So now she's supposed to be going to juvenile. And she's supposed to have been in juvenile for a while. She's supposed to be locked up. Yes, our whole family is from Detroit. All of this was just for an all-expense pay trip. They did not get paid anything. They just were flown out for free and, you know, be able to eat what they want and stuff like that. Did the stepdad die? I consider that my real father. I do not refer to him as my stepdad, but he, he died in 2006. The only time I want to see Treasure uh, is, you know, when CPS is taking her away. <laughs> she grew up in the hood, so um, there are people. There are people who would hurt her. There are people who you... <laughs> Honey, if there's black women getting their throat sliced for just being black, you don't think somebody's going to want to hurt my sister for saying all this disturbing, disgusting stuff? What steps are you taking for self Healing, I think coming out is really heal healing me because I can't, I'm very active on social media, so I can't just like sit by and like allow this to happen. So I think like this is kind of like therapeutic for me. Does this know her hopes of having a job or career are over? She doesn't give a fuck. Treasure's living for the moment. Treasure's living with the boy that you guys saw on Dr. Phil is my brother and they're living together. Kendall is harboring a fugitive. Treasure is supposed to be in juvie. Kendall, every time CPS comes to the door, they will hide her up in the attic they will hide her tell her to stay away go with your friends i'm guilty when i was living with them i'm guilty because who wants their sister taken away Damn, that's so sad she well, you know what if she's uh, the monkey in the wicking does not bother me that does not bother me i have a wig on whatever but my antics and the way i'm going about things is not really animal like at all if anything she's the monkey she looks like those little skinny monkeys you know which ones i was talking about but and she kind of sounds like one too, but I think what she's doing is very animalistic and evil. Your sister is going to jail. Does Treasure live in the suburbs? Treasure lives in the hood. I could tell you where she lives if I was a heartless bitch and didn't really still care about that girl. I would bring a lot of heat to them if they really wanted to fuck with me. Calling me a gorilla in a wig? Okay, there's so many things that I know about Treasure personally that it, I could really hurt her feelings. But the way that people are going about dogging her online i don't think she cares does your mom abuse you my my mom was a neglectful and abusive and a liar and she did a lot of stuff i would consider more evil than what she's done now are you gonna confront her in person yeah i probably will one day do you speak to your other siblings how do they feel about this well my sister she's my other sister i have keep in mind six of us all together well seven of us six of us are still on this planet one of my brothers killed himself my older brother is slow. He's really not on social media like that. My other sister, she's really smart. She's younger than me. Uh, she's not really into all this drama. And Kendall and Treasure are together. And then my other brother, he's just a baby. So it's like he doesn't care. She's only six, But he's going through his own thing. So she's only 16. Old. What did she do? Has she grew up to become a bad person? My mom stopped taking care of her. My mom stopped taking care of her. And she kind of had a fend for herself out in the streets and out in the ghettos. And her job was going from door to door. Um, can your cousin, can you cousin what happened? Play with the real story, please. What? Well, her, one of her jobs was when my mom stopped taking care of her. She would go to door to door pretending like it was, she was a part of a church and asking people to donate to her church. And it wasn't, she didn't even go to church. Can you explain the real story? I'm late. I'm 25. Does Treasure and her mom have a good relationship? No. My mom doesn't have a good relationship with any of her children. She's trying with my younger brother, but he's a baby, and I don't think she's doing the best job with him, to be to be honest. So they speak to your mom and her maid of the story, trying to get a bag. Yep, trying to be internet famous. But if they would have came up with anything else, I'd have been fine. But the fact that they came up with putting my dad out there, making him seem like a white supremacist, this is a man who I love, who raised me, who did nothing, but treat us with kindness and love us since day one. So I can't stand by that, and I have to disagree with that. Are you okay? I'm alive. Do do I'm pretty sure that me means do I hate my mom? I don't, I don't hate none of my family. I'm very, very, I used to be very, very close with my family. And if you go on my Instagram, you still see pictures of me and my mom. Um, you know, sometimes of my sisters and my friends. And the only person who I really don't have current pictures like that is the treasure because she was always doing her own little ghetto hood rat thing. And it's like, I don't, I'm not into that kind of stuff. Treasure 16. She was born in 2003 or two, 2002 or three. I don't remember. But I know she's born on the 4th of July. For people who missed last night's, the treasure's lying. Oh, yeah, they're telling the truth. So is your dad white, or is that just... Okay, my mom, before we were all born, 
my mom got married to William Richards, who's my father, who is the guy in the video who's a white man. So, so what did I say? She married him and then had a whole bunch of kids and was cheating on him. He was an older guy. She was cheating on him. She had six kids and basically five different baby daddies. And he was older and he just wanted a family. So he kind of like, it was kind of like an, an unspoken thing that she had boyfriends and stuff like that. It was kind of like an unspoken thing. So, but she was living a good life. We were all really blessed and daddy loved and he accepted us for who we are. And he took really, really good care of us. And I was really close with my father and I do not consider him my stepdad. He raised me. I, um, he signed all of our birth certificates. He loved children. He loved babies. He was such a good person and he does not deserve to be treated so bad. What? Okay, I'm going to turn it back. Uh, well, they say my mom would tell my brother Wesley who committed suicide that that was his real father. But we also have other family members who were kind of uh, pale looking. They were black, but they were really, really fair. And then somebody told him that those were his people and that, you know, a man from that side of the family was his father. And yeah, so it really kind of is my mom had a lot of kids, but a lot of different people. I don't really, I don't know if, like, Wesley was biological his father, but from what we've been told by our mother, that's our real, that was only Wesley's real dad. But I always considered him my real dad, too. So where's Treasure now? Treasure is, I know exactly where she is, but I'm not going to put that out there because I don't want people to hurt her. Your sister got, I don't know what that means. So your mom was the top. No, my mom was a hoe. Thoughts are a new thing. My mom was a real hoe. She wasn't that hoe over there. She was the hoe. Hoe. She was a hoe. So let's just be honest. Let's just call it for what it is. And to to be honest, um, she was kind of grooming me to be a hoe too since I was very young. She couldn't do anything else for clout. Did you stop talking to your family? I don't think my family will ever be the same because of this. Why don't you go over there and whoop her ass? It's not even worth it. That girl's 16, I'm 25. I'll go to jail. I've whooped her in the past. Like, I've whooped her with belts. I slapped her in the face. I'm the second oldest, but the oldest girl. Has your mom said anything? Nope. My mom's phone has been blocked. She's been acting really weird. So I don't, my mom's a very, very strange person. I don't know if she's alive even, to be honest. Please fix your wig. I like my wig to the side. Because I got a good forehead. I look fine to me right now. I don't, I don't care. Um, that's fucked. I have a daughter and could never teach her how to be a hoe. That's not right. My mom did. She did worse than that. <laughs> I'm praying for y'all. Oh, my God. Honestly, if I do, I'd stay away. Sounds like there's nothing but chaos. Oh, yeah, it's so evil. So evil between all three of them. You look good, baby. Somebody said my fix my wig. I like my wig like this. I like it to the side and with a part. And if I, if I have it like that, then I'm not going to be able to see. So I got to put it like this. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Since Treasure was toying, do you know if she came up with the idea of saying she hates black people herself, or do you think... No, she came up with that idea for attention. She came up with that idea. Where do you think Treasure's behavior come from? From the neglect of my mom? Honestly, there's always something wrong. There's something wrong with all my mom's kids. Even me, but now it's like I'm healing. Um, there's something wrong with all of us, but it's because the way we were treated and abused and it's like because the abuse and the neglect that we all we all couldn't comprehend it because this was our real mom so it's like we all kind of coped and acted out in our own way like with me i turned to a lifestyle of pain and darkness and you know, I'll be like a completely honest, I was a stripper, 
I was really into like doing dirt in the strip club and I was just I was you know I didn't have a lot of self value and my mom would always tell me I'm ugly and always compare herself to me and my mom uh, would buy all these fancy clothes because after my dad died she got left with a lot of money and I had lost so much weight I really couldn't fit a lot and I remember I'd have to steal their clothes sometimes I would get beat up for trying to wear clothes that fit me um, I would get beat up for the silliest stupidest things and you know it really left a lasting effect on all of us my brother that's why he killed himself because of the the, the things that happened after our father died was just so traumatic like it kind of made us all snap and now it's like treasure was so young at the time but now it's really starting to come out that there was something else that go to especially because my mom doesn't take care of her and that she's out there on the street in the hood you know do you have evidence to back up I have evidence to back everything up I am very active on social media I have photos I have videos I have I have I just found a YouTube video of me celebrating Treasure's birthday and you hear me talking to her. So you can see and hear Treasure a little bit, but you can mostly see her because she's really skinny, so she's like easily, but you see me celebrating Treasure's birthday and talking to her. And I just found that video, but I'm always like, you know, it's like I love pictures and videos because I'm very paranoid and I lost so many people that I love and I'm like, okay, if I don't ever see this person again, at least I have a lot of pictures and videos of them. And so that's kind of why I do that now. Do you think your mom on Dr. Phil for money. Dr. Phil, they didn't get paid for Dr. Phil and it was Treasure's idea, so. Your brother who was on the show is, everyone knew they were faking. Where, how can we find the video? The YouTube video of Treasure's birthday? Um, I'll share it, I'll share it. I'll try to find a way to share it on here, but I'll share it. Does she really not like black people? All Treasure known as black all her life. Why would your mom go along with Treasure's bad idea? Because she wanted to go to an all-expenses-pay trip to California. My mom's used to live in a certain lifestyle. She hasn't lived that lifestyle in years. She lost all of her money. It's broke. So, you know, she wanted to get this last hurrah in. Were you invited to go on the show? Definitely not, because I didn't even know what it was about. I didn't know Treasure. I was asking them and asking them when they told us that they were going to go. What are you guys going to go for? I'm thinking it's going to be for some real shit. Treasure is banned from every CPS, CVS in America. She's a middle school dropout, um, such a hood rat, sold fake hair online for high prices, delivered fake weave to people's home, but deliver weave to people's home that was like bullshit quality dollar store hair for like $50 and stuff like that. She had people looking for her since then. Do you communicate with Treasure now? Not now. But I had spoken to her recently. She told me when she came back from Dr. Phil and when this aired, she told me a little stuff about Dr. Phil and being on the set and how funny this was. So she still, yes, treasure was caught shoplifting. I'm glad that you have exposed her. I think it's better to people know. <sighs> yep, I'm exposing all of them. My mom, my brother, and my sister. Yeah, they were flown out. That's why they went. 25. I'm 25 years old. Does treasure have any black? All treasure's friends are black. When she started acting like the way she does now. She's just always been a, a little tight, like kind of like a little brat, but she was always a sweet little girl. It wasn't until my mom neglected her and left her, thrown her to the streets, like how she does all her kids, that Treasure started acting like this. Who has custody of her? Treasure's on the run. She, uh, CPS should, you know, she should be in CPS care. My mom does not have custody of her. You should tell Dr. Phil what you know. Fuck Dr. Phil. I wonder if they're going to get in trouble now. They will, because I'm calling CPS tomorrow. They did not get paid for being on Dr. Phil. They just got paid with the all expense, you know, all expenses paid trip and the food and, you know, my mom got her teeth bleached. <laughs> my mom got a free wig. That wig that she has on is a Vivica Fox wig she was bragging to me about. So, I was wondering, how do you feel about this whole situation? I feel like it's an embarrassment to my family. She has embarrassed our family so bad. Our family is so hurt and devastated and everybody's talking about my mom like why would she do this why 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 and what hurts me the most is seeing my dad my dad's pictures my dad was an older gentleman before he married my mom he had a wife previously who passed away and he already had kids and they were all adults and um 
I know they're like so embarrassed that their father is being put out there like that too. So it's like I want to stick up for them. I want to stick up mostly for my dad and for my family and then for my culture because I'm a black woman and I'm a proud black woman. I always knew I was black even though my dad was white. You know, I just accepted him for him and me for me and that's how it was in our house. <sighs> how she gets it. <laughs> How she gets an A. I have no clue. I just, I'm pretty sure. Dr. Phil, think about it. Dr. Phil did not do his research on my sister. So, with Treasure being my, with Treasure having the last name as Richards, honestly, that's all they needed. That's all they wanted. Treasure is on the run for sure. But if, you know, they're not going directly to CPS, and CPS kind of stopped looking because it's been years she's supposed to have been in jail. So, Dr. Phil already didn't do his research because you can see posts from my sister saying stuff about you know black lives matter and blah 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 if he didn't do his research on that him and his people then why would they do research seeing like okay is this girl legit like is this her mother that could have been her sister and you know she could have lied and said it was her mom dr phil's an asshole yes treasure can't even vote yet shaking my head no she can't treasure is watching this right now i don't give a fuck I hope that little bitch is watching me. But she blocked me, so. CBS ain't shit anyway. Nope, definitely not in Detroit. But I can't say CBS ain't shit here because it's like they tried. They looked and they looked and they we my family would hide her. And I'm responsible for that too. I've hid her. You know, saying, Oh treasure, they're here. Oh treasure, call your friends and go home like go to their house because CBS, you know. We heard CPS. We saw CPS circling the house. Go upstairs and hide. Just be really quiet. So it's like they keep looking and it's like they kind of gave up. I still don't understand how a girl can run her whole life for a trip to ruin her whole life. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I'm 25. Girl, you seem to be doing well. I was out on my own. I was 17. You can do it. Well, I'm 25 now, so yeah. I was always there on the streets when I was 15, so. How do you know everything that happened? Because I'm Treasure's sister, and, you know, before this, she does tell me everything because we are a close, tight-knit family. We all know everything about each other. But Treasure doesn't know that much about me, but because I'm her sister, I know a lot about her. Like, my personal stuff and shit like that. You look young for 25. Thank you. I'm sorry to hear. Why don't you like... I don't like that she's disgracing my father and her race and basically selling her soul and put it, by putting my father's name out there making him seem like a white supremacist and talking so dog-ass about black people. Especially as somebody who is an advocate for black beauty, I'm really into that. So it's like, I can't be active on social media. And then... Hey, Jayla. And then... Ha look at my sister who I helped raise. I was there when Treasure was born. Treasure was born on the floor of our living room, watching and seeing this girl being called the Auntie Ruckus and Uncle Ruckus' sister, but I'm pro-black. I love black beauty. That's really, really hypocri hypocritical of me to not say anything at this point. She don't claim that she's black. Only for television. Six of Jesus. I think Treasure has demons. I don't think she likes Jesus because I just went on her Facebook and on there... Uh, you can see she said something. She's the second coming of Jesus. She's playing with some very serious issues now. She's doing this for clout, right? Yes. That's his name, Ruckus. Tell the story again. Well, what do you guys want to know specifically? My household treasure? Me, like... <sighs> treasure was born on the floor of our living room. Yes. I brung towels. I'm trying to use life stuff. It's getting hot. <laughs> When y'all come into ATL. For what? Tender's faking everything and she's a stupid bitch. Why is everybody asking me the same questions? Why is CPS looking for her? Because she has not been to school for years and she's underage. You can't be an underage person not going to school. So that's why. I'm a Christian. I've tried to help her in the past, but she does not want my help. She's already been thrown out to the wolves, and that's how she prefers. I'll forgive them what, if they're ready to come for it, yeah. 
since you're 16, yeah, I've been, I, we've all been through a lot. All my mom's kids have been through some fucked up ass shit. Just being in that household with such an evil fucking person, yes. My mama was an evil bitch. This cut right here, this is from her when I was eight years old. So yeah, like it was a, it was a fucked up ass household, so. Does your mom and brother have an Instagram? My mom has Facebook. My brother has an Instagram, but uh, he's not really active on it, I don't think. Why does your mom care if she goes? I don't understand that person. I feel bad for y'all. <sighs> okay, these are a lot of questions. <laughs> Hold on. Having CPS take her would be helping. Treasure just, she needs to be, uh, Treasure, honestly, if she gets t taken away by CPS, why, here's the real reason why she's on the run. She will go to juvenile. She's a fugitive, so. She is a little stank ass bitch. You should smell her room. <laughs> I mean, I understand your sister doing this on that shit. No one. <sighs> she needs an asshole. But you know how many times I whooped that girl? It's her mama that needs to whoop her, though, not me. I have kids of my own. Like a girl in a cage. No. She hasn't locked anything in a cage. Treasure's not strong enough. Maybe. Bipolar disorder. I think my mom is bipolar. I think Treasure's... There's something else snapping with her. I'm 25. Why do people keep asking me how old I am? I'm 25. I was born in 1993. Your mom was a thought in the 90s. My mom was a hoe, not a thought. A washed up hoe. Because she hoed for a long time. So Now all that... Pussy selling didn't really bring her much. To go on TV. Thank you. I really try to be gorgeous every day. When is your birthday? September 27th, 1993. Everything I'm saying is very valid. and it, 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 you can, it checks out. Look up Treasure Richards, Treasure Me Richards. My mom kind of gave her two middle names. Treasure Moon Richards and Treasure Me Richards. M-I. So it's like. My name is Nina Kimberly Richards. My mom's name is Monique Richards, Kendall Richards, you know. And I have more brothers and sisters than that, but some of them don't want to be involved. So it's like, I'm not even going to put them out there. No, nothing happened to me. Your sister needs help. I know. Some people have said your mom looks like she bleaches her skin my mom was always very was always a very fair woman she was always a very fair-skinned woman we have a lot of creole and french ancestry and so that's why my mom comes um across a little lighter but my mom being light then having a baby with a darker skinned man i guess my biological father was very dark so that's how i kind of you know i just look more like a brown darker skin version of her Did your mom want clout? My mom just wanted to go to L.A. She's not even really, like, active. I was born in 1993. My younger brother, Wesley, was born in 96. Does Treasure watch Tommy Stoudemire? She sounds like him. Treasure probably can't even spell Stoudemire, but I don't know if she watches him or not. <laughs> She's not feeding off no one's fame. The fuck? Well, she was, Treasure was feeding off my dad's name when she uh, put his picture on there and called him a supremacist or... I don't know if she called him a supremacist, but I know people are, and that's what hurts me, because this man is the reason why I am, I, I'm not dead. I had, I had a good life coming up. Do y'all live in Maryland? Michigan. Do you? I have a son and a daughter. That Treasure's holding in a, a lot of pictures. I don't, I don't have pictures of Treasure like that. I didn't, she was always doing her own thing, but I have a lot of pictures of Treasure holding my children. Are you Haitian? I'm black. <laughs> like, I'm African American. <laughs> This will fade away soon. I hope you're unaffected. I'm fine. I'm not saying anything that's going to uh, fuck me up. I love being black. Shit. That's treasure. Because they all wanted to go to California. Treasure could have been a model, but instead she wanted to be an uh, infamous on the gram. My favorite color is hot pink. Can you go over why you're Dr. Trash? I don't know. I... Do you and Treasure have the same father? We only have the same mother. But Treasure, we, we considerably, we did have the same dad with the white guy who was everybody calling him a white supremacy, all raised us and loved us. But Treasure always knew of her biological father too. 
But we all have the same mama. My mom's phone's been off and she hasn't been talking to anyone ever since this time. I think she's embarrassed. When did your white father come to your life? My dad was married to my mom before I was born. This man raised us, signed our birth certificates, and was always there, so. Was Treasure like this as a kid? No. Where's your biological father? I have no fucking clue. I had a great dad in my life and he passed away when I was 13. That's all I care about. Anything else, I don't give a fuck. Why did your brother join them? Because he wanted to go to California, so he doesn't have much going on either. Do you classify yourself black? I'm, yes. <laughs> that was a dumb fucking question. How many fucking times did I say it? Would you consider your mom a hoe? Not with an E-A-U-X, but with an O-E at the end. A real <laughs> gutter ghetto whore, yes. I don't talk about my mama that way. She's done too much fucked up shit. If I sat here and talked about some of the shit she's done, you guys would understand why I'm like this and why I'm blasting them. This this woman has talked about me so bad. So you know what? You guys want to go up there and shame my father, put his business on there, act like you have two kids when you had seven. So you know what? You said some shit about me, my brothers and sisters before in the past, so I don't feel that way saying it about you now. There's been literally times where she'll talk bad about me and I don't even know what I've done, so it's going to be the same thing again. I don't care. Yes, other 1,000. Congrat what? 1,000 what? Dr. Phil paid for the tickets. Yes, he did. $1,000? I wish I had $1,000 right now. <laughs> is y'all going back? I didn't go to Dr. Phil in the first place. I'm trying to know. you trying to know what? What did she say about this? She called me a monkey in a wig. Your sister made a YouTube channel. Last night. Yeah, let's, let's report her channel and report her videos. Let's get it shut down. Um, if not, then I'll just help. It'll just help me like put evidence against her on why this girl should be locked up. You seemed really proper on Dr. Phil. What? I was not on Dr. Phil. <laughs> What's the worst thing your mom did? If I talked about what my mom like the worst thing, I know exactly what it was, and it's a terrible story. My mom was a hoe. She that was her business. She told me at a young age, "I'm an escort." That's what I do. So, yeah, she's a hoe. Um, but I, I don't know if, I'm, if you guys really want to hear some of the evil shit that my mom has done and why. I just can't. There's no turning back from the way I, I feel. Okay. So, people are saying tell it to us. I'll tell y'all. And then I'm going to hop off of it. My, uh, after my dad died, my mom got a new boyfriend. And I hate him. Around that time, she he was living off here. He was an alcoholic. And... He was a user. And this man just came into our home after our dad died and just started, like, trying to act like he was running shit. And I hated him so much. I hated this man. But my mom would never, you know, she would take him out and treat him. And treat him good. And he was living good. She bought him motorcycles and let him ride the cars. and let him gave full, She gave him full control over us. He was able to spank us with extension cords, beat us. He uh, brung drugs into our household. You know, we were so used to our dad, our white dad, who, you know, we lived a normal life until he came and helped just, like, fuck up our fucking shit. So that guy came, and my mom, she, that's when, this is like the peak of her parenting skills being terrible. So one day, my brother, he's slow, and my mom, she never treated him right. Never. She always treated him very, very, very abused. One day, um... He was an alcoholic, my mom's boyfriend, and he'd leave these bottles. So one day my brother, the slow one, my oldest brother, took the bottles and went to the store and got some change so he could get like a pop or something. And my mom, trying to impress her boyfriend and show him that she was a gangster, was like, hell no, hell no, I'm uh-uh nigga, talking to her son. Get in the car, get in the car. My brother, slow, keep in mind. My brother goes in the car and... We're all looking like, ooh, he's in trouble. And when he, when he came home, there was blood all over the car. She took him to get jumped by some niggas in the hood who almost killed him. My older brother, who's slow. And I'll never forget when he came home. You know, it was like we, he was having a school dance come up and seeing my brother like that was just so terrible and seeing my like like that was just like abuse in 
And it's, it's just one of those things that you, you'll never forget. That you'll never forget. Now she basically took him out to get killed because he was trying to get food for himself. And I, um, and remember my mom saying to me, she looked at me and she said, Nina, I'll never do that to you. <laughs> and I think my aunt had a dance or something the next day. Well, I mean, my older brother, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say his name, but that was some evil shit. And that's some shit I'll, I'll never forget that day. And I'll never forget how shocking. And that's something that even I forgive my mom, but I'll never forget that shit. For your own mom to do, to take you to the hood to get jumped by these young boys who she paid some young guys. They took a pipe and said, do you want us to kill him? That was the worst thing my mom ever did. So this is the same person who was on Dr. Phil and is a neglectful parent to Trisha. This is the same person who has a, a five-year-old son now. Hmm. And so out of the years and of turmoil, it's like, I just want to just truly come out about this and tell my story about the abuse that we suffered because I feel like in the black community, we're made to feel that, especially with my mom, that, you know, it's supposed to be secret. Everything's supposed to be a secret, what goes on in the house. But it was some severe abuse. This is why my brother's dead today, and this is why children are doing this. It's all a cry for help. My brother didn't have to kill himself, but he did. My sister treasure didn't have to go on Dr. Phil and destroy her own race, but she did. And this is all real stuff, like some of the things that went down in that house that we experienced, you know, and, but we always, and this is what hurts me about treasure is that we always had a love, a lot of love for each other because after our father died, all of us came, kind of came together and we would, we would like play games and toys and we would tell stories about daddy and we all kind of looked out for each other especially with Montice which is my mom's ex-boyfriend look especially with him being abusive and a new guy she is now being just as abusive honestly even worse we were all really really close and we were all good kids and we, we didn't deserve that we didn't deserve that treatment Like, some of the things that we went through was just so unnecessary. And this is why we kind of, like, the lady in the video said that I was kind of, like, I seemed a little off. It's because I've been through so much turmoil in my life. I've been through so much, like, real fucked up shit that, you know, like, a, a teenage girl shouldn't have to go through. Especially when you're so used to living, like, with our father. We lived a good, happy home. And then to go from that to, like, in, like one extreme to another. One extreme to another. It's like we had all this love and normalness. We just used to sit around the house and watch Nickelodeon and Cartoon Network and celebrate holidays and draw pictures together and all this stuff. And then to go from that to having a stranger come into our home telling us what to do, abusing us, introducing, you know, alcohol and drugs into the household. And then my mom losing the house because she took um, some money. The house was paid for, but she took some money out and lost our home. Than being thrown out on the street. And all. That's where this. This is why I want to come out because my dad does not deserve this because it's it's just it's just really fucked up at this point. And the fact that you know me being a black girl and loving being black like that's it's like it's just so fucked up. It's just really fucked up and it's like it's it's just it's just I'm sick of it. I'm sick of having to lie and I'm sick of having to protect these people who don't who just shit on. Who shit on people. Must treasure treasures treasure some people. Kindle he doesn't, but it's like for him to go along with this. Okay, guys. Oh, I have got a phone call. I'm sorry, but I think I should hop off um here. Um I actually have um some other things that 
you know, things I gotta deal with right now. Um, some some other people want to interview me, and like I said, I just want to get my story out about the abuse and who Treasure really is and my father, which is really important because I love him, and it's just a really really sensitive topic for me. So yes, keep your prayers coming, and I appreciate all the support. Bye bye.